In today's video, we're opening every 2013 tin ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another opening every video. And in this one, we're opening every single 2013 tin ever made. We have done this with 2002 all the way through 2007. I haven't done 2008 through 2012 yet. I went all the way to 2013 because I had a few of them already and I ended up picking up the last couple just to make it possible. There's only four total tins in 2013. Back in the day, they did six. So that they slowly reduced them. It was like six, then five. You know, sometimes they had four. I think 2008 had four. Uh, here are all the different ones. We have the Blaster, the Tidal, the Tempest, and the Redox. These are dragon rulers, which are extremely powerful at the time in the game. So these tents are pretty insane. Before we actually get into the opening, I'm going to be giving away this amazing Defenders booster box. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know your favorite of these four tins. I mean, what's your favorite dragon ruler? They're all really nice artwork and really cool secret rules. All right, let's get right into the video. So for these four, the Redox and the Tempest were by far the easiest to find for whatever reason. So we're going to start with those. The Redox, the Dragon Ruler of Boulders. Check that out. Very cool looking uh, monster tin, you know, whatever you want to call them. Inside, we get two Cosmo Blazer packs, two Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, and a Number Hunters pack with a Secret Rare Redox and then four Super Rare cards. We want to get a Ghost Rare in this video. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open. Start off with the first of the tins. I don't know if there's, is there like a Wave 1 and Wave 2? I don't think so. I think they uh, they just kind of all came out together at this point. The, the cases you would buy, though, I think I do have a case of these. I have a case of the Redox and the Tempest. So they come together. So I'm guessing they kind of have waves, but they don't say they do. All right, let's go into this. Let's check out what we have. So first of all, we have, whoa, yeah. Okay, we got, is that, who is this? What's this guy's name? I never actually watched this anime specifically for the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, so I haven't watched it. Shadow Spectres turned out to be a really bad set, but has a cool um, card inside with the Ghost Rare and Ultimate Rare. Then we have the Cosmo Blazer Pack, so two Unlimited. Then we have two Lord of Tachyon Galaxy, which also have the Dragon Rulers as rares. So these are actually reprints of the Dragon Rulers, the Secret Rares. And then the Number Hunters Pack. Plus we have the Secret Rare Redox, which originally came as a rare in Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. You also get some pretty good promos because this is when they stopped doing just one promo and they gave you like a bunch of really good so Redox is great. Then you get Diamond Dire Wolf, which is a great XC's four. We've got a number 88 gimmick puppet of Leo. I don't know too much about this one, but it might be decent. Spellbook of the Master. I mean, Spellbooks, of course, very popular. And then Rank Up Magic Barriance Force, which is what they were actually advertising on the back, wasn't it? Yeah. And Rank Up Magic Barriance Force. Oh, no. Maybe that's just the last one. They just listed all of them on the back. I'm very interesting. Not going to lie. This guy looks super sick. So that is pretty cool promo stuff there. It's a little warped, but you kind of expect that after so many years. Isn't it wild that this is a 10-year-old 10 at this point, which is pretty amazing. Let's start off with the Number Hunters. I don't know too much about Number Hunters, except there's probably some numbers in here. Let's just see what we can get. First off, we have Chronomaly, uh, Cabra, Trebuchet. By the way, let me know which will be the best 10. We're going to have values up for each of the four 10s. Let me know right now in the comments what you think will be the best gimmick puppet we've got the gear changer the number 63 shimoji soldier and number 74 master of blades that guy is kind of sick very nice the master of blades next pack we have cosmo blazer can we get the cover card what is it called the uh the hard earth dragon or something it doesn't even have a reprint like ever so they're pretty expensive you can pull wait no maybe it does maybe it has a reprint now it didn't for a long time i can't remember brotherhood the fire fist Ten key. We've got the Crimson Blader and Ultimate Shield. Not a guaranteed foil. These. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a reprint. I can't remember. All right, Lord Attack Young Galaxy. We're opening the Dragon Ruler tens for 2013. Let's see if we can get some Dragon Rulers in the rare slot because you can get both a rare and a foil. So if we can get a Dragon Ruler and we can get a Ghost Rare, that would be insane. Battle and Boxer Switch Hitter. We got Xyz Blocker, Eagle Shark, Dragon Carnation. We have a Radius the Half Moon Dragon, Aerial Recharge, the Shark Kraken. Number 69, Herald G. Crest, the number 69. That's pretty clutch. And a Summon Breaker. We got to pull the number 69 out. That's so funny. All right, next Cosmo Blazer pack. So far, we haven't pulled anything too crazy other than the number 69, which is pretty crazy. But in terms of value, we're not looking so hot. We have Fire Formation Tencent, the Pyrotech Mech Shiryu, the Crimson Sunbird, Go Go Ghost, the Hazy Things Flames Me. Hazy theme, hazy flame. This was actually kind of crazy in Duel Links for a little bit. Ignition Beast Volcanon. That sounds like Volcanion from Pokemon. Tri Tribal Rivals, the Hyper Ancient Shark Megalodon. Wow, these are tongue twisters. And a Zero Zero Rock. So, so far we have not pulled a foil, which is very light and, you know, pretty usual for tins, like old school tins. You open them up, you expect to get something awesome, and really you end up with just your promo. So that, that can happen. Hopefully that's not going to happen here, though. We have Little Fairy, Rise Bell the Star Adjuster. We have Eagle Shark. Panther Shark, 
Shark Kraken. That is a lot of sharks in a row right there. Battle and Boxer Headgeared, Legendary Atlantean Tridon, Wheel of Prophecy, and we have Fire Formation Kaio. Wow, that was a kind of a rough tin. Did we get anything? I'm gonna guess our promos. So our promo value is basically all we got, I think. Unless I missed something, which I tend to do. All right, next up, we have the Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storm. This one's a little dented, but that's okay. That maybe means that someone was trying to get in there for the Ghost Rare, which is a plus. So you're gonna see on the screen the total values that we have for all of the tens, which AK is just one right now, but not a lot of value looking too good, but that's okay. There's still three to go. So we have our, our thing there. We've got the same, I think it's the same packs and stuff, right? It should be, I mean, it's all 2013. These were in like the same case. So yeah, I think maybe the other one could have different packs, but we'll have to see. It does look like these have different promos, which obviously the Tempest is different, but it looks like the others are different as well. So let's see what they are. You could check the back, but we're gonna open them up because this is an opening video. So we have Tempest, Dragon, Rule of Storms, one of the coolest looking ones, in my opinion. Thunder Seahorse for, uh, what is that, like light? Uh, yeah, light thunder types. Okay, Gear Gigant X and the number 50 Black Strip of Corn, also a good rank four. And then rank up Magic Bearing Force. So that one is consistent in them. All right, we're going to start off with the number hunters again. Can we pull another epic number card? We have the Stoic Challenge right off the bat. Gimmick Puppet Egghead. The CXCs, Mech Equipped Jijin and General. That is insane. Photon Lizard using the Photon deck. And number 49, Fortune Tune. I've seen that guy a lot. Nothing too crazy there, but that's okay. We got four packs left. We're going to get a Ghost Rare right now. It's going to happen, guys. Just believe one. Well, no, not that way. One, two, three. Here we go. We have Spike Shield with Chain. Pretty cool. Bacon Saver. Crimson Sunbird. We got Inari Fire. We got Spear Shark. He's Double Back. Garbage Ogre. We've got the Blackwing Damascus, the Polar Knight. And... Not our first foil. If we go foilless, I'm going to be very upset. Just saying. That's okay, because we're going to redeem it right here. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. We've had some pretty bad ones. Remember when we started like 0 for 21 in the 2003-10 opening? Go check that one out. By the way, just check out my opening every playlist where I have a playlist of all the stuff where we did opening every 10, opening every pack, all that different stuff. If you have not seen those videos, some of the best videos on the channel. So go check them out. Fire Formation Caillou. We have Little Fairy, Rise Bell, Spellbook of Miracles, The Mimic. Battle and Boxer Counterpunch, Lightning Dragon Ruler of Drafts. This is the baby Dragon Ruler. Pretty cool. Isn't that the one that fits with him? Perfect. It fits with the Tempest. Wheel of Prophecy. We've already gotten that rare. And Mermail Abyss Osea. Wow. This is pretty tough, guys. This is pretty tough. Still a couple tens to go and a couple packs in this one as well. Now is where we pull something big. One, two, three. We have the Fire Formation Tencent. The Ultimate Shield, Star Drawing, Drawing a Star. Wow, pretty amazing. A Mary Lease, we have Abyss Scale of Cetus, Dimension Gate, Fire Formation Tenkin, Hazy Flame Manticore to go with those Hazy Flame cards, and a Super Rare Orbital 7, our first Hollow. I don't remember this guy at all. All right, we have officially pulled a foil. I can't complain about that. That's not bad. A foil has been pulled. Guys, there's another baby dragon roller. One, two, three. Come on, give us something. We have Mermail, Abyssosia, the Kayo. We have Brotherhood of the Firefist Wolf, Lightning Dragon Ruler of Drafts, Blizzard Falcon, Mimimimic. We have Legendary Atlantean Tridon, Big Whale. He's a whale and he's big. And then we have a Harpy Channeler. And now we're talking. This used to be like a $20 card, even in Unlimited. But then, of course, it got the Lost Art. So definitely not as valuable anymore, but still probably worth oh, at least over a dollar. Got to be right. So probably our best hit of the video so far, besides the promos. Next up, we had the third 10 that I actually had a lot of trouble acquiring. So I had those other 10s for a while and I was like, I only need two more 10s. This shouldn't be hard. They're only 10 years old. Should be pretty available. Available. They weren't. Blaster was actually pretty hard to find. And fortunately for me, Jorge from Heart of the Podcast hooked me up with this. He didn't even charge me. I was like, hey, I want to pay you. And he's like, no, look, it's all good. So I ended up trading him something like a card that he wanted. So it worked out really well. I traded him a PSA graded card. I can't remember which one it was now, but it was, you know, about the same value. So that was really awesome of him. So go check out Heart of the Podcast if you've not heard it. I was actually on that podcast. So make sure you guys go listen to that if you're interested in that. So let's get this thing open. This thing was not too easy to acquire for whatever reason. I'm guessing that uh, Blaster and uh, Title, which is the last one, you know, no spoilers, are probably some of the 
the better ones. I don't really know because I didn't play back in Dragon Ruler time. I don't know a whole lot about Dragon Ruler. So I think I used them once in auction series. I didn't really know what was going on. Pretty sure I lost that one. Okay. Which is, you know, not saying much. I lost most of them. Okay. Let's see if there are any different packs in here. Oh, and there are. They have Abyss Rising. Okay. And it looks like the last one's different too. So it looks like these were not marked as like wave one, wave two, but it seems like they are different. So there's two Lord of Tachyon Galaxy, two Abyss Rising, and then a Hidden Arsenal 6. Ooh, I don't really love that. So uh, four decent packs. This one's not amazing, but you know, Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 came out. You saw how well that did. Then we have our promos here. Uh, so these are, I assume, going to be different because, you know, it's a whole other wave. And even on the same wave, they were, you know, what in the world? I can't open this. All right, there we go. It's a little easier. So we have Blaster at the front, which I think went to one in Master Duel, right? So pretty wild and pretty interesting. We have a Car Curry Shogun at Beret. Oh, Ruxin Special on the promo somehow. Gun Guy Cowboy, a great rank four. Number 40, Gimmick Preparative Strings and Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bears. So, okay, those seem pretty decent. It feels like everyone so far has just had a good rank four that you could open up. Uh, and what do I mean by wave, by the way? If you guys are confused, the waves that I'm talking about is, there's a secret rare right at the front. Uh, basically, it's like how they would, uh, you know, release the 10. So they'd release like two at the beginning of the year and like two at the end or something like that. Eva Gishiki, very nice. We got the reliever. We got Vinylon. Yeah, I mean, this is not a great pack. There's not a lot in here. Gym Knight Crystal, kind of cool card. It's a it's a normal, but whatever. Then we've got our four packs. Abyss Rising is actually pretty cool. We've had great luck with the Ghost Rare out of this set, like crazy great luck. We've pulled two of them before. So one, two, three, pretty cool stuff. We have a Battle Break. We have Stoic Prophecy, Different Dimension, Deep Sea Trench, Snowman Creator, Deep Sweeper, the Metalizing Parasite, Soul Tight, Heraldic Beast, Burner's Falcon, Gagaga Cesar, and Caesar, whatever you want to call it, and Abyss Scale of the Crack, and that is a that is a super at some point, I'm pretty sure, but it's not there. Only a couple of pulls so far. We did get the Harpy Channeler, which is pretty decent. Can we get something big like a secret rare, an ultimate rare? That would be really cool. I want that to happen. Battle and Boxer Head Geared, Mimimic, Brother of the Fire Fist, Leopard, King of the Feral Limps. Oh, that's such a funny card. Starfish, Jewels of the Variant. We have Brother of the Fire Fist, Wolf. Dual Barrel Roll Rare and a Green Dustin. The Dustin's great, awesome. Couple of packs left in this tin. Let's get something from the Blaster tin. So far, we don't have much. You guys have seen the totals. You, you know who's in first. Probably the one with the Harpy Chandler. Okay, not bad. We have the Heroic Advice or Advance. We have the Fishborg, Snow Dust, Lumoria, Slower Wind Jammer, Mind Pollutant, and we have a final card. One-eyed skill gainer. Oh, when I saw it, he's like, maybe, maybe we pull something big. Hey, still pretty good. We'll take it. It's a super rare one-eyed skilled gainer. I'm not upset that we pulled a full. All right, Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Here we go. Let's do this, guys. One, two, three. We have Legendary Atlantean Tridon, Battle and Boxer, the Dragon Carnation, Battle and Boxer Glassjaw. Pretty cool card, actually. The King of the Feral Limps. Starfish. So it feels like a lot of the same cards as the first time. Jewels of the Valiant. Battle and Boxer Lead Yoke. And a Battle and Boxer Headgear. So Battle and Boxers were pretty, you know, there's a lot of them in here, which is pretty cool because that was actually a fun archetype. And finally, we are on to the last 10, the title Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls. This one I could not find anywhere on the internet. I was searching. I even posted on Twitter, on Instagram. Nobody had it. Literally nobody had it. There was a guy on Facebook, but then he was like being weird about it. Like, I don't know. He asked for a ton of money. I ended up having to buy it on eBay for like 80 bucks or something. It was crazy. It's very expensive. So uh, yeah, it, that compared to the other ones, they were much, much cheaper. They're like 30 bucks or something. This one is insanely expensive. I don't know why. I mean, it must have been great at the time or something. I don't know because it's very hard to find. Let's see what the difference is. There's two of these. It's a misprint. You get a misprint? A misprint opening? Two of the same thing? Error opening, guys? Crazy? All right, let's see. Should be Abyss Rising again and all that stuff. All right, so we have the same packs. Then we have our promos. Let's see what the difference is. The title, pretty cool looking as well. I think that's one of the better looking ones. They all look really good, to be honest, but this one looks nice. We have title, Dragon Ruler of the Waterfalls. We got Blackluster Soldier. I forgot that was in here. On with the beginning. That could be why this is hard to find. Maybe people bought it just for the promo. Ally of Justice Catastrophe. That's another great Edison card. Uh, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max. You use that with the, uh, what are those guys called that I that I did for a little bit? It's like the Infinite Track and the Machina deck. Pretty cool. And then the Brotherhood of the Firefist Bear. So, I mean, those promos were pretty fire. I mean, honestly, I miss the days when they put like four or five awesome cards as promos. So that's pretty sick. Okay, let's start off with Hidden Arsenal 5. We know it's going to spoil it at the beginning. So I'm going to do a little loop-de-loop -loop, tricky, tricky uh, move here. Flip it around. We're going to do that. Do a little loop-de-loop -loop and pull. We have a first step toward infestation. Cool. Gusto Eagle. Prominence of Molten Swordsman. We have the Violon Soldier. 
an Evagishki Soul Ogre. Yeah, a lot of Evagishki stuff, which is probably not that great, but cool. All right, Abyss Rising, four packs to go. We have not pulled anything insane so far. I would love to pull something insane in this off. One, two, three. It's been a fun opening, though. I mean, just sometimes this is how it goes when you open tens a lot of the time, actually. Mermail, we have a House Dustin. Mecha C, Bet Dragon, Plesion. That I had a real struggle there. Hermit of Prophecy. Medolce Marmalades. We got Medolce's hopping in. Heroic Challenger, Night Watchman. We got Spellbook of Eternity. And Magic Deflector. Hey, got to protect that Toon Kingdom, right? Am I right? Am I right, Toon fans? Okay, Lord Attack, Yon Galaxy. We haven't pulled any Dragon Rulers out of here yet, so that'd be cool to get a rare. It's a rare, so it can be a little weird to like actually get one out of a few packs. Sonic Warrior, the Panther Shark, Biscale of the Mizuchi, Jewels of the Valiant. We got Brotherhood of the Fire of his Wolf. Reactant, Dragon Ruler of Pebble, so another baby Dragon Ruler. The Bachi Bachi Bachi, a very... Very interesting card there. We have Fairy Cheer Girl and Lightning Dragon Ruler of Drafts. We have a play set of those. Hey, we'll take that. Two packs left. I think we've got like an Ultra and a couple of Supers. So nothing insane. We are looking for a Secret, an Ulti, a Ghost, anybody? Maybe? We have Eight Magician, cool. Different Dimension, Deep Sea Trench, Stoic of Prophecy, Deep Sweeper, Metalizing Parasite, Soul Tight, the Heraldic Beast, Burnus Falcon, Rage of the Deep Sea, Mermail Abyss Spike, and a Ghost Rare! Number C32, Shark Drake Vice! Ah, I mentioned it before. We have great luck with Abyss Rising, but whoa, that is insane. So I guess this $80.10. Okay, it still didn't pay itself off. I think this is only like a $30 card, but it's still worth it. That is so sick. The one we bought off of eBay. That is crazy. Number C32, Shark Drake Vice. Wow, what a way to end this opening. Second to last pack. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I, I saw a season. I was like, I got my hopes up last time. I'm not going to get my hopes up this time. And then it actually was something good. Wow, that is insane. Lord Attack on Galaxy. Look, I would be totally down to pull like Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon right now in Ghost Rare. I mean, even, even any, any rarity would be awesome. Let's go. We have Mecha Phantom Beast, Stealth Ray. That was crazy. Lightning Dragon Ruler Drafts, Mimimimic. We got Mind Drain, Paris Parsec, the Interstellar Dragon. Cool. Yeah, that was worth a little bit for... I remember when I was opening these, that was worth like a dollar. Fire Formation Avatar, a Garnix. We have the Mermail Abyss Osea. The Big Whale. He's big. He's a whale. And the final card, will it be the Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon Ghost Rare? Let's see. Constellar Omega Ultimate Rare. I saw the border. I was like, wow, it's an Ultimate Rare. Whoa. Okay, Constellar Omega, not a crazy value card, but we didn't pull our value until the last two packs. We pulled our big, our big foils. That is absurd. And look at how that hits. That is a nice ghost rare. Woo, what a video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content just like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.